Hello, everybody. My name is Ivan Burazin. He had a, did a good job of presenting my name, so pretty good. Thank you. And with me is my co-founder, Vedran Yukic. Vedran, say hi to people. So yeah, we just found out, so we're a little bit, my stomach is like rolling around and stuff like that inside, so. Uh, anyway, I know my co-founder for like eight years. Uh, he, I had an IT service company before, and he was a CTO at a bank where he, where he was a client of mine. So he worked side by side for about eight years. Other than that, he has been a coder all his life and is a developer. And he always had one sort of problem. It was like lugging your laptop around with you. So in short, he did not have access to his code on the go. And what he did was he searched over the internet to try to find a solution to that problem. So he searched, looked, and what he found was that he had other developers around the world that had the same problem. They could not find a cloud-based application or code editor to solve his problems. And there's like, according to IDC, about 20 million developers around the world right now. So out of that, we part of it partnered up and we came to the idea of Code Anywhere. So uh, Code Anywhere is a cloud-based code editor. It, is, it takes the full feature set of a desktop application into the cloud or into the browser. And if you're a developer, as you work on your desktop, that is exactly how you work now in the browser. So we will just show you now a short demo of what that looks like. So my colleague that actually made it will just be logging on now. Just put in your username and password or log in via third party services. Hopefully the internet works. It's loading. It's loading. Okay, so it loaded. It's a little bit slow, but it loaded. This is due to the internet, so as with all the cloud-based services, if it doesn't have an internet, it won't work. So, uh, so just gonna show you, I don't know how many of you are developers, but it is a pretty straightforward. It's split into two, or in this case, like three screens. So on the, which is the right hand side of me. Uh, that is your file tree. So you can connect to your services or connect to where your files are. So to servers or third party services like uh, GitHub, Dropbox, and Google Drive, and so on. Uh, there you can browse your files, folders, everything. You click on a file, it opens up on the big panel there. There's your code. For people that don't know, don't know how to code, it looks like a bunch of gibberish, but that is code. You just write it there. And as soon as you save it, it just pushes it right back to your services. So Code Anywhere supports syntax highlighting for about 75 languages and auto-completion for 10 languages. So mostly web, PHP, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and so on. And for those of you who are a little bit uh, more advanced, there's also a SSH terminal to set up and configure your servers all inside the browser. So going back to the first problem, so let's say you're a developer and you're driving a 45 minute drive on your, your bus home and you don't have your laptop with you and you have a bug, someone calls you up or whatever, the cloud part or the browser part will help you but it's not like you can ask the person sitting next to you to take your laptop and log in. So that's why we made a multi-platform application. So we have native apps for iOS, Android, both tablet and iPhone, and it's completely synced up. You just pop out your phone, so when someone calls you, it doesn't work, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So you just say, okay, hold on, fix it, load in, done, it's back, you're driving home, get home, no more problems. So that's the application. So we have an application now that's on your web and on your mobile phones. What we did was even further. We made a collaboration platform. So not only that, you can now collaborate with people over the world as you would in like Google Docs. Uh, people write on the same file, collaborate, have revisions and history of who did what. Uh, up until now, we have more than 200,000 registered users. We have about 50,000 active users. Our growth in the beginning has been mostly word of mouth and with the collaboration, getting other people to get others inside. Uh, what we are doing now, we have signed agreements with four universities, uh, which use Code Anywhere as their exclusive platform or exclusive application to teach people how to code. And in that way, engage the younger audience and have them 
you be the new wave of Code Anywhere users. Thank you. Right. Uh, just one more second, one more second, one second. Uh, so if you have a phone or laptop, you can log on to Code Anywhere and start coding. Thank you very much. All right. Great job. Judges. Well, first of all, kudos for, you know, just showing up and, and doing that. I mean, uh, coming in cold with the yeah, yeah, we had no, we, we just I, made the presentation now, so it's yeah. like. So na nice work uh, on that. I've been on the other end, so I know it's, uh, it can be a little nerve-wracking. Um, I'm not a coder, so that was gibberish to me, but. Um, <laughs> I'll decode it for you. That was thank awesome. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, you were effusive over here. <laughs> No, this is totally awesome. I mean, I how many are coders in the room? Hands up. All right, leave your hands up if you think this is awesome. All right, I think most of the hands stayed up. Uh, <laughs> if you're not a coder, like setting up an environment, uh, try, I mean, you, the, the use cases that you explain of like being on the bus and doing something is kind of a minor use case. Mm -hmm. The stuff that you, actually the, the real pain point is setting up an environment, uh, doing this on the go, anywhere, collaborating around it. It's a huge unsolved problem. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm crying that you already raised money, I have to say. I was going <laughs> to write you a check, but you already have one. So. But it's really cool. Thank very, you. Very, very cool. Thank you. I think it looks great, guys. Um, tell us a little bit about your thoughts about how to build a business around it. Um, and although it's elegant and totally useful, it seems like it could be precarious in the event that GitHub decided to do this, for instance. So uh, how do you defend and build something big here? So how do we defend it? So, I mean, GitHub can do or anyone else can do it. GitHub actually launched uh, he, their own, it's called Atom, their own code editor, but it's made with web technologies, but offline. So they are probably going to get into the space. What we are doing is trying to get uh, our users engaged as much as possible. I mean, we have like almost 10,000 users on Twitter that use us, that like follow us. So getting that sort of trust in there and people using us. and. The thing is that with GitHub, they will probably let you just use GitHub, but what we do, we'll let you use GitHub, Bitbucket, your own repository, mm. whatever. So like all services uh, will be underneath our platform. So I don't think they will compete in that sense. And business? So it's a freemium model at the moment. So it's the free model lets you program, you can pretty much do anything, but there are some feature sets that are looked back and then you upgrade to uh, premium model, although that is something that we are changing and testing and working around right now. We do have revenue, but we would like more, obviously. What's the pricing? Well, right now it's just $5. Uh -huh. So tell me a little bit more about your users. I think you said 200,000 are registered, yep. 50K are active. Is that in a month or? That's like in a week. So <laughs> if you log in once a week. So uh, the thing is, uh, since we are a cloud-based editor, I mean, if we look at Google Docs, I use it often. Mm -hmm. But if I want to write something or do an Excel or whatever, I usually use an offline application still just because of the technology is where it's at. So we're pretty happy if a person logs in once a week. So that means that he's more or less pretty active there. So. And in terms of growth, you mentioned people are telling others. How do you think about that in terms of reaching uh, larger developer communities with this? So what we're trying to do is add the ability to, so, uh, ability to connect more services underneath and the ability that they have then to use our platform as one platform for sharing. It looks sort of like Dropbox. So uh, let's say you, can, you have code on, actually on Dropbox or Google Drive, OneDrive, GitHub, uh, SFTV server, it's all underneath code anywhere. And you can use our platform to have a unified way of sharing, collaborating on that. So that's how we plan. So like if I'm using it and you're a developer and want to code, I'll say just here, I'll share the link with you and then you'll sign up. That sounds pretty frictionless. This is awesome. Nice work. What do you think about Runnable in comparison to that? Sorry? Run the company Runnable that does the same thing? Actually, we didn't. We, didn't. We, we know of our competition. I have to say the name because it's one of our portfolio companies. No, Otherwise, no, no. you'll be yelling at me. But you should take a look at, look at Runnable. There's something similar. There's also Trey who does it. So there's a few companies that are in that space. There's a few companies that do. Am I allowed to say them or not? I don't, I don't know if you want to promote the competition. I wouldn't. Well, OK. So I, I know about five main competitors that, that are doing it. They've, most of them have even raised more than us. We, looking at the number of users, they all sort of broadcast that we're like the number two in the world as far as we know about, about the users, even though they've raised much more. But since we're... we're Raising money does not equate to success. Exactly. So, like, just... <laughs> out. 
so uh, we, they all have their own use cases or their own things that they think is better than they than we do, and we have the points that we think that is better than they do. So like, I can go through them if you want, but like, what we're trying to do is just keep it the application clean and lean. So when you log in, you can program in like 10 seconds. So you just log in with, if you want, with the Gmail or GitHub and you're just there and start programming. Where the, whereas others sort of want you to set up the environment, which you can do or will be able to do. But the thing is we want you to get in and start working as fast as you can without any hassle. So that's our. How, how many people is your company? How many engineers do you have? Uh, or how long have you built uh, until you got to this point? So we've been doing code anywhere a little less than two years. Mm -hmm. And we have seven people, so the two of us and five more. Cool. All right. Any other questions? That was code anywhere. You guys did a great job. Great. Thank you. Great.